Welcome to our first episode of our review panel. We're really looking forward to having you and don't forget to comment below to go into the draw to win one of these planners. First reviewer is Soraya. She's a new planner addict. Then on to Jess from the well-known Jashi Curran Instagram page. And then on to the effervescent Kate, who's an absolute beginner's newbie. Let's get started. Welcome to everybody that is witnessing our review show for the first time. I am here with a mix of newbies and also people who have been bullet journaling for a wee while. Um, and really a huge thanks to Bonnie over at Archer and Olive who sent us some amazing notebooks and planners that we're going to have a look at today. Now these lovely ladies have no idea what is inside this box. So I'm pretty excited to get them opening it. And you're gonna see the entire process from beginning to end. And we've also got a couple of followers who've sent us some questions with regards to how the paper feels or what it looks like, etc. So we're gonna go through some of those as well. Over here, we have the camera coming straight in as we unfold it and unpack it so you can see what we see as we go. Now, for introductions, we have got Soraya. Do you wanna welcome yourself? Sure, I can try and do that. So, uh, good morning. Uh, I'm Soraya, currently in the Wellington region in beautiful New Zealand. I'm from overseas. I'm recent bullet journal addict, let's, let's face it, and I do <laughs> have Nick and I to thank for that. Um, um, I am familiar with Archer and Olive. I have a couple of items from, uh, from them, and I absolutely love them, so I'm really excited to see what's in there. Today. So thank you Nicola for having us. More than a pleasure. Kate. Hi, I'm Kate. I don't actually know what bullet journaling is. What? So I'm completely new to this process. I'm also from Wellington. And um, I'm excited to learn what Archer and all of this too. Jess. Hi, I'm Jess. Uh, I've been a bullet journaler for four years now, so like kind of senior, seasoned. I tried an art journal before, I'm in an art journal at the moment, but I've also tried a bunch of other journals, so I'm interested to see what's in here and how they compare to other things I've already had a go with. Great, and I'm Nicola, and you're here because you've obviously watched other things from me, and now we've got something new to try. So, should we get started and get straight yes. into it? Okay, let's go. Yay! Tink, cheers. Mm. Cheers to our first review yeah. video. Yeah, Yay. that's exciting. Oh. Thanks for making it happen. Yes. Nicola and our channel. Oh my goodness, it's oh, in a mother box. box. So pretty. Wow. Well, the box is pretty, so. Yeah. I love these boxes. These are, yes, oh, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. The nice break. Another wrapping. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I always love how like much care has been taken with the wrapping in their boxes. So this is true. So this is a monthly planner. Whoa. A 12 month book of plans. Well, I think it's lovely looking. Okay. It is pretty. Right. From what I understand, this is the blush color. I mean, my blush is a little bit more red, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just my face. So my first uh, comment is it's very heavy. Well, or is this normal for a planner of this size? This is not characteristically normal, but reason for that is because the paper is exceptionally thick. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice thick cardstock rather than a normal paper. It's it won't bleed or ghost. Do you know what your ghosting is? I do. I I can guess bleeding, but I do not know what ghosting is. You know, it's not that it's when you write on paper and you turn the piece of paper over and you can see all your writing on the next side of the paper. Yeah. Like so they do like in those movies where you they find a piece of paper like in a spy not uh, in a spy situation and somebody's written on and taken a page out and then they're able to recreate what was written. Not quite. Close. It's so like, not even like close to that. that. It's like, that's it's kind of like an indent. You write page. something, you turn the page, you can see everything that's been written. Oh, like on the back. I thought that was bleeding. Yeah. Bleeding is when it goes right, right. through. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's so much to learn. Yep. Yeah. So this is not a bullet journal. This is a planner. Oh. Yeah. So that could be pretty much any. I do love this packaging though. It's just yeah. so cute. Maybe, um, I keep all my boxes. Does so everything come in one of those boxes? 
That makes it pretty special for a guest. Yeah. Well, right. I interviewed Bonnie a couple of months ago, and one of the things she said in the way that she's changed her packaging, because she tries to make all her packaging sustainable, yes. and one of the things she said is she wants it to be an experience for when people get it that it incites happiness. It feels so. like a gift from yourself. Yes. It feels special. Yeah. It does. And I think also the weighted paper also mm -hmm. gives it that really special vibe because it's a little bit thicker than normal. All right, so I'm sniffing it. So I can't smell anything when you open it, which is quite nice. You don't really want to have any kind yeah. of smell when you open it. Um, I actually really like the smell. If you put your nose in there, you can... Okay. <laughs> it's blocked. I can't smell anything. It smells great. Because I can't smell anything. It smells like a normal notebook to me. That's good. Oh, that's helpful. I mean, sometimes you can smell like traces of glue and oh, stuff like that, so that's yeah. not, it's kind of off-putting, off but I mean, in the assumption you know, that you know what I absolutely love? Yeah, smell like paper, yes. It's the absolutely adorable little ampersand. Oh, the charm is the cutest. I can't oh, even deal. Yeah. It's gorgeous. That makes my soul happy. Yeah. I also really like that there's two. Yeah. That so is true. Like two separate pages. I like the whiteness of the paper. Yeah. You know what, I agree. <laughs> I also do not like creamy paper. I yeah. like bright white paper because I think it just makes the colours of yeah. whatever you're writing in stand up better. Yeah. Stand out. So yeah. I've recently tried in cream paper mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it just changes the colour of whatever yeah. pencil you're using. So okay, so for, for me personally, I don't know what this is. plans what I'm going to write. Is so, it a to-do list? No, so this is your view. So it's an undated planner. So oh, you put the dates in at the top, right? Yeah. But oh, the see. boxes are so small. I and my handwriting is oh, like gigantic. Yeah, mm -hmm. handwriting. I feel like it needs to be over maybe two pages. Mm -hmm. Possibly because it kind bigger. of is quite far in on the sides. There's yeah. possibly room for expanding. I know that my mum uses this kind of calendar a lot, but what? I God, she she uses it mainly as just like little summaries when she isn't is it in town is oh. and isn't in town well, yeah helps so yeah would you color code it and start writing things yeah that's what she does she like highlights it and says oh yeah here I'm in Melbourne here I'm in so Wellington. when they do you put like you would put over the top up? over the top you would go January February March April oh, May, like June and then downsize oh, yeah. the days of the month oh I get it okay so now. I agree. I, More than two pages would be small. Small. It is a bit small, yeah. and especially for my big handwriting. So what I've been doing in my other one for this year is I've been putting step tracker in, so that way oh, that's a good idea. That way it's small numbers because it's usually like four steps from mm. here to work. Yeah, <laughs> four steps. Yeah, good four steps. <laughs> so four is a nice small number to put it in. Yeah. Then we have our monthly spread, which you would on this page here you would put March, April, pick a date and then put your own numbers in yeah. and then again down the side you've got your little to-do list mm -hmm. and okay. then you move on to your so these are this is a whole year again no that's just a month oh okay but there's only one two there's so the month Okay. And then you've got oh, weeks. I yeah. see. Oh, okay. So this is your month view, and then you go on to your pay, your week. Pay. I do think oh. the nice part about this is you can decide if it's a Sunday start or a Monday start. That's true. Because you get to put it in yourself. <laughs> what did you call this earlier? Calendaring. Yeah. Calendaring. Yeah. Yes. Um. I. Uh, I was describing what we were going to be doing here to uh, my family and some friends and I said we're going to be showing people calendaring because I did not listen to any of your instructions. <laughs> but I thought that was a really clever word yeah. but I got teased about mercilessly and I, I uh, it's when I came here time. and you guys didn't know what I was talking about at all. Not even remotely. Okay. Okay. <laughs> even word. Okay. Even word. Okay. Okay. Like, you know what I like guys. Okay. Yeah. Hashtag calendaring. Yeah. Hashtag, Hashtag calendaring. calendaring. So I just want to say as somebody that doesn't uh, calendar. Calendar, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, I, I have a reaction that's negative towards having to put my own dates into it. Mm. But fair enough. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I used to be like that. Yeah. And I had a recent revelation mm -hmm. actually when um, opening another one of our trend owners um, journal. I love the fact that at the front it does say like 12 month book off plans. Right. And so I've been thinking 
how am I going to use it? Because mm-hmm. I'm not going to use it as a diary. How can I use it? And we do a lot of project work. Sure. And so looking at it from this perspective, I thought, well, this is perfect to use as project okay. planning. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I can start whenever. So let's say my project starts in March, then I can put it in March and put only what's like relevant. So you change your thoughts about what it's for. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, also, what, when people sometimes when they're coming into calendaring, they get a bit anxious about starting mid-year yeah. or partway yeah. through a year. Yeah. But the nice part about this is that you can yeah, pick it up in any month sure. and you don't have half of a book yeah. that goes wasted. Yeah. yeah, that's true too. But also, I totally agree with you. You could get stickers and just stick yeah. the sticker dates in rather than writing them because I've got super untidy handwriting. Yeah, they are horrendous handwriting. So in between, in between the calendar pages, oh, between yeah. the next month and the last um, kind of weekday, there are some blank bullet journal pages, oh, which brings us to the bullet journaling. Mm-hmm. And then right at the back of the book as well, there's a whole ton of empty bullet journal pages as well, oh, awesome. which is really, that's just a treat. Yeah. Um, so you could put trackers nice. in there, you could put birthday schedules in there, you could put a whole ton of stuff that you could measure. I just noticed that there's a cute little pocket, which yeah. I really, really like. I know, and it's made with fabric on the side as well, which is so much more robust than it being yeah. made with paper. Yes, that's right, it won't rip. Yeah. But also, I always, uh, nice. if I pick up a post-it at work or something, I'm not going to rewrite it into my journal, so it's nice to be able to... Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Um, so I've got some pens. Feel free to do some it. pen testing out the back. Now, as I said, I'm going to be giving mine away, so I'm not going to pen test in mine, but Everybody else can also. Uh, to play a non uh, journalist, devil's advocate, um, because I don't have any journals because I have a phone. Yep. That, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> what would be the benefit of having a paper journal as it opposed to a calendar on your phone? Okay. For your mental health. Ah, it okay. has been proven scientifically that writing things down mm-hmm. make you feel more connected and mindful and it gives you um, the opportunity to really allow your mind to create freely versus being in your phone. It also allows you sometimes away from social media and electronics which we actually don't really do. Maybe yeah. more, mm-hmm. and I have my phone with me all, all the time. time. Well, yeah. I've got three That's true. <laughs> um, and this I'm doing for journaling. Yeah. And that's for reflection. Yeah. yeah, I use it as um, a creative outlet as well. Also, I find I get to remember stuff better if I write it down rather than type it out or key it in. Yeah. Okay. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Great, great questions. <laughs> so we did have, actually, that great segue. We did have some questions for some followers around um, some of the features of the Archer and Olive Dunn book. So I'll open up the questions and then you guys can answer as you see fit. The first question was, how thick is the paper? Thick. It's very thick. Three C's thick. Pretty thick. <laughs> it is pretty thick. Ultra thick. It does. <laughs> That's what it says. That is how <laughs> thick it is. It is ultra. You're not going to rip it by mistake. Yeah. Really, aren't you? Oh, no, no, you're actually not. By mistake. Yeah, by mistake. Sorry, but I don't even. Journal. Sorry. I don't even know if you can rip it on purpose very easily. That's true. Yeah. That's true. The next question around the paper thickness was, mm-hmm. um, there was how thick is the paper? How does the paper feel? It feels it's a little bit velvety, I find. Mm-hmm. It is smooth. Yeah, I, see, I would not say it's as smooth as maybe coated paper. No, it's not as smooth as coated paper. I don't paper, know what coated paper is. I don't know. It should I should I get a comparative example? That would be great. Yes. <laughs> This is coated paper, mm-hmm. and it is. If you look comparatively, it's slightly creamier, mm. color wise. Color wise, yeah. Oh, then over here we have a cast stone. Oh, that's me. now. Yeah. This my is, my clever fox does like that. That is a low so GSM B five notebook where the paper oh. is not coated, oh, but in. this is only 80 GSM in comparison to our 160, oh, wow. so almost double the GSM. Yes. So you would easily, if we go somewhere in the middle, I think, it's so weird. you yeah, will yeah, be able to see oh my goodness, you really that yeah, posting. Yeah. 
I hope you weren't about to give that to someone, right? No, no, no. That's, <laughs> no it's, you, but say it doesn't rip; it just bends. No, no, no it just yeah, it, it's like an elastic. Because it's made with like a polymer. Yeah. But if it heats up, it goes rock hard and turns into ash. It's bizarre. That is really strange. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. heavy though, right? Yeah. It's got like a this weight to it. We can it's see what we've written oh, through the paper. Oh, yeah. I see. So this ghosts with pencil. This is ghosting. Ghosting. So it goes to Ooh. a pencil. Yeah. Oh, that's. And that's regular. Right yeah. You, I do not know. Oh, that's that. much thicker, isn't it? Yeah, so this one's smoother than that one, but nowhere near as smooth as the yeah. stone one. So that's why I feel this <laughs> is. Yeah, more solid. I feel yeah. this is velvety because it sort of. Um, there's a bit of a like resistance to it, like yeah. a bit of scratchiness to it. Yeah. Fine, fine scratchiness. Fine scratchiness. Um, and the other one, it just feels like satin. It's just like. Mm. Um, my face in it. Right. So yeah. that was actually the second question, and Jess, you'll have some knowledge about this. Yep. Somebody asked, um, um, do you think that this paper would rip up your brush pens? Oh, well, I mean, after enough use, anything's going through. So, so, right. so you <laughs> just use the nice stuff. But I think that you'd get a lot more use out of your pens before it became an issue than other papers that you might be using. Yeah. It's not like using cartridge paper. It's distinctly better than cartridge paper. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. There's also actually a Sharpie in here if you want to try the Sharpie. Um, because Sharpies are alcohol based and they will bleed through everything. Right. They they're, have, actually, they're really That's That's, That's a Sharpie. Like a Sharpie Sharpie. So. Okay, so there is... Oh, some yeah. ghosting. Yeah, yeah. With and a little bit of bleed. A little bit of like bleed a on the end splooge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A little splooge bit. The other the ones, end. nothing. Yeah. Kind of, they barely yeah. make a dent. Totally. You know what would be interesting to test though? Mm. Would have been ink, like from stamps. Sure. Okay. You know it what I don't <laughs> love about this mm. is this black thing. That's where you're. That's where you. No, no, I know. I, I, I know. But what it's it not is. in the color palette. It doesn't match, and it also kind of looks kind of cheap. Touche. That's fair enough. But it's damn useful. <laughs> it's useful, oh, it's but the opening. you know, it's just a. It's at the opening. Yeah, yeah. The opening is getting a little bit. So yeah. comparatively, yeah. comparing yeah. this to yeah. my dingbats that I just used. Yeah. This is much better secured than that one. Okay. That one I actually had to get double sided tape out, like really? two uses in, to stick it back down. That. It's another type of notebook that I'm. Um, another brand of yeah. notebook. That does a similar kind of style thing. So, actually, no, I don't know how to use these stamps. Is it like use it on this side? Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> you take it, you stick it on Oh, you to... stick the stickies on it. Yeah. And then you do that. Oh, and you want to the top? Extra. I don't like Oh, I like this. Oh, Surprise! I don't have to buy it. You don't want to get goobers on your book. Because <laughs> I find sometimes when you use it, it sort of smudges. Yeah. We should trust dry times. Trust. Test dry times. Oh. Dr dry nice? I dry nice, yep. Ink joy. Oh my god! I love ink joys. This is like my favorite pen at the moment. I know. <laughs> Mine too! Smudgy though. What's it? Alrighty, nice? so. You know what's my one. favorite pen? A blue biro. Who are you? Two, a one. blue biro. I love Ooh. a blue biro. I don't know what to do. Like a big pen, yeah. like a blue ballpoint pen. Well, the really old fashioned ones were the best. You know the one with little like things in it? They don't make them anymore. The crystal ones. Yeah, not too bad. One second, not great. Five seconds. Ooh. Moderate. Yeah, ten seconds, fine. Let me see your one camera. No. Nope. Okay, so overall, what are you, what are you, what are your thoughts overall? I think it's lovely. Thick paper. You think you're going to use it, Kate? No, Jury's still out. All right. Hmm. I like what you said about project work as a project manager. I should really appreciate that. Because hmm. sometimes it's good to have this side. Yeah. 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 In fact, it is recommended. <laughs> if you watch for them, you, Sarah, make yeah. colours on a video. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you Sarah. Would yeah. it ruin it if you put post it's in it? It wouldn't be so pretty. No, it'll be fine. It depends on the position. Can you use us? Um, for me, probably not, just because I know that I like to have the same size boxes for each of my weekdays. I like to have space for a running to-do list for each week that's separate that's from daily boxes. Yeah. 
That's just my personal opinion though. Um, I think this would be really usable for somebody who doesn't mind having the weekend in a shared box. Oh, I, I think that noticed. the grey that they've used in this is really, you know, it's not obtrusive. It's quite light, it doesn't like really super stand out, so you can really put your stamp on this plan. Really make it better. Literally. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I mean, totally perfectly good planner. Not for me personally, but that's because I like to make my own. Fair enough. What about you? Um, as I said, I'm gonna give it away just because I have a couple already. Um like it, similar to the ones that I have, which I love, so I'm very happy about it. Um, I did not notice the Saturday and Sunday in the same box, so I think maybe more for work. I would use that more for work than for home. Um, unless people have exciting life in the weekends, which I don't, uh, then that might be a bit of an issue for them. Uh, but yeah, just, yeah, pretty happy with it. Well, so I guess for me, I'm not new to planning. I do it for a living. It, but as of somebody who doesn't use a planner. physical planner, I, I totally get what you mean about like starting in the month that you start in and, and having like some flexibility around projects. But I find the lack of instruction overwhelming. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like the lack of uh, like preset dates and also, I agree with what you said, just in that there's, I, I thrive on to-do lists. So if I had a to-do list along the side of um, the week, that would make it much more user-friendly for me. Also, as somebody who can't write in a straight line, and the fact that there's no dot grid in the boxes for each weekly would probably put me off a bit. But that's just because I like having the security of some guidelines in yes, there. That's true. This is seriously gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, but I'm salty, that's just how it is. It's fine. <laughs> no, they're also good. Yeah. But one's got one ones goes one ones, one one ones. One one ones. I think one 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 stronger. <laughs> Have you not seen these before? Yes, and I think there's poison in them. Oh, I mean anything. Like, poison look how artificial they look. No. That's, sorry. That's, that's, that's not a color. Yeah, how should you name it? Oh dear. They're actually delicious. Oh my god. They're really good. Yeah, they're delicious. I have too much in my face. I haven't even finished yeah. one. And the other well, you need one for each side. Mm, balanced diet. Like, what's dry? Oh, dry time. Dry oh, time. Sm oh, smudgy. Smudge, yeah. smudge. Smudgy dry. McSmudgeton's oh, test. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really enjoyed the review and we're hoping to do a lot more of these in the future. If you'd like to see more of what we're up to, head over to our YouTube page or head over to Instagram and say hi. We look forward to seeing you in the future.